Hello and welcome to the Stitching Kitchen. Well, happy Valentine's Day, everybody out there in YouTube land. And if you stitchers that are watching haven't told your friends who stitch about Stitching Kitchen, please do so. To begin with, I want to bring out my cooking pot. Isn't it cute? What I do is I stole this thing from the scrapbook department and I have created an environment for all my toys. I have floss, I have emery boards, pens, pencils, needles. Richard says I could open up my own store, what do you think? So today I'm gonna to continue the lesson on counting threads. There, in my mind, are no holes in the fabric. We can move all over the fabric as long as we learn to count threads. Why should you stitch on linen or even weave, you ask? Well, it can allow you to learn decorative stitches and do samplers and have lots of fun as you move along in your stitching hobby. So I'm gonna show you a way to move the thread around the canvas and if you download the note paper from Burr Street Design Works, you can write some of this down. All right, here we have what's called 18 count fabric. That means there's 18 threads to the running inch, about that big, in either direction. Now, we stitch over two threads to make an X. Why is that? Because it's a lot easier to see than one thread. No, seriously, two threads makes a really pretty X. So, on 18 count fabric, if we're stitching over two threads, that's nine stitches to the inch. So we have to remember that, and I will give you a lesson on how to count, not count fabric, but how to measure the fabric when you're starting out, and you'll never forget it. Okay, here we go. Our little knot that we learned how to do is on our fabric. I removed the cross stitch from here. And I'm going to find the vertical thread. There it is. See that? Okay, now, I have to move, let's say, four threads to the right. I need to move over the thread and say one over the thread and say two, over the thread and say three, and over the thread and say four. Now guess what? You're on the vertical. So I'm gonna do that line right there. So now we've gone over four threads. Now from here, I have to go four threads up. So I am gonna go up one thread, up another thread, up one more thread, and up that thread. And there I am four threads and I'm on the vertical. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do that again. We're going to go over the thread and say one, over the thread and say two, over the thread and say three, and over the thread and say four, and go in. Put our needle and thread on the back. Now I have to move to the left. Same concept. We move over the thread and say one, over the thread and say two, over the thread and say three, and over the thread and say four. Why don't I count from the front? If you try to count from the front and put your thumb wherever you think you should be and then move the thread to the back, you're gonna miss count. We can take another needle if you want, and if we count up four again, one, two, three, four, we can mark that spot with another needle. It should have a bead on the top so it doesn't fall through the opening between the threads. And then you can come up from the back. But seriously, you need to practice, just like you're gonna practice your knot tying. And I'm gonna go over here, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna go to the back. And you need to practice counting left, right, up, and down. 
because the cross stitches themselves are going to go all over the place. In fact, let me show you a chart. Just so happens it's my winter fob chart. You see how these cross stitches, one's there, one's there, one's there, one's there. How do I get over there? Well, if you've done one and then two, you know that you can move over two threads and do this one, and over two threads in that way, and over. So it's a way of getting wherever it is that you need to go. You count in twos, and you go over the thread and count. So if you need a review, just watch this video again. I get confused, and besides, it's Valentine's Day, and I might have had some champagne. See you next time. Today's lesson is going to be about the vertical thread. Now, vertical thread is this way, north to south.